Yeah, so now we're gonna do a super quick tutorial on getting this alpha background. So if you've got a spark capture coming in with your avatar, it might look something like uh, it might look something like this. Yeah, you might have it looking something like this, where you know you get it in the corner and stuff, but it's still got the still got the background going on. So super simple, uh, awesome way to get a nice crisp background uh, is using this use show only list. So let's go through the steps of doing that in a new project here. So in this project, say I wanted to just show this actor, um, I'll just get my other spout stream up using dancer output. Sweet, so we got that. Um, so that's the stream we're going to try and get just the dancer output out. So back in Unreal, uh, what you want to do, you want to get your, you want to get your off old live Cinecam capture, go here and search alpha, and you can see you have this show only list, super useful. Uh, one thing you have to do before this is uh, workable is go edit, uh, project settings, and search alpha here. And you've got this allow through tone mapper post processing. You want to change this, probably on disabled to start with, change that to allow through tone mapper. And you can go use show only list. You want show only actors, add an array element here. In this array element, you've got an eyedropper. You can search your actor here if you want, or you've got your eyedropper, you can press on the actor. Sweet, so that's sick. We got that going. Get this spout back up, and in OBS, we're now missing the background and stuff. That shows it's doing something. In here, we just want to change this from a page to pre-modified alpha. And look, we got lovely, nicely cut out, alpha out actor because it is based off of the actor, not off the colors, not off the gamma, not off green screen or anything. You can have greens and stuff going on here. It's literally just alpha them out by actor. Super nice, super clean. And then, you know, if we play this, we've now got another, another alpha out actor. Beautiful. And it's just obviously running in real time, doing all the things that your actor would be doing in Unreal, but picking it up in real time. So, you know, we do exactly the same thing for my little character, my avatar in the corner. Yeah, so we got, maybe to make this more clear, I'll just add a colour. And yeah, you can see from that, we've got nicely alpha out actors. So yeah, I hope that's useful. Uh, it's literally just the best way to alpha out your character onto a background. Um, I think we'll go into uh, setting up your computer. Uh, uh, we'll go into one of the uses of NDI instead of Spout, and NDI is able to send your data from computer to computer. So if you're interested in running your game off of one computer and then running your avatar off of another computer, just keep your frames from dropping, keep your FPS high, good for streaming, high action games. Um, we'll go into that next. Again, really simple. Um, yeah, expect that in the next video. So, catch you in that one. Cheers. Thank you.